Howdy y'all, Bearded Carpenter here. Today we'll be showing you how I cut out uh, the top of the log for the uh, bottoms of the window cutouts in the cabin. Um, I just laid it out with a level, measured up 42 and uh, a quarter of an inch off of the subfloor. So come on, let's go on up to the cabin and I'll show you what I did. Looking at B-Wall, I'm not sure, but if you can see this, but right where my finger is, is where uh, the bottom cut will be. Uh, I've got my shoulders marked and, and scored, but I've got this laid out. And I'll cut straight down with my chainsaw here and here. And I'll plunge my saw through and I'll put a, my little torpedo level on the bar where I can keep my saw running in there level. I'll stay above the line a little bit then I'll come back and clean all that up kind of like I do a notch or whatever. And this, this big chunk will come out. Got the blocking in here and underneath because when I cut this piece out you can see there's just from here to here that will actually be holding that. And I have blocking in the middle of this. And also on this end, and the blocking is in B-wall all the way down to the, the first round of, of B-wall, round one. And that will support all of this and transfer the, the weight all the way back, back down to the, to the foundation, or to, actually to the, to the girder. sharp chisel and I'm just paring down to that line just like I do on a notch just going right down there to that then I'm going to take my yellow crayon and do the same thing, just mark that little edge there that I've trued up down to the line, or pared down to the line rather. I do the same thing on the outside. I'll go all the way down through there and mark that. And uh, I'll do the same thing on the outside. Then I can take my chainsaw and I can just lightly brush this right down to that and clean it up. Uh, I can actually finish it off with a slick or just leave it rough sawn because it's all going to be hidden with the window. Uh, some people call it window bucks or window jams or whatever terminology that you choose to use. Uh, this will have a window sitting on top of it and it'll all be covered. I'm getting ready to brush the bottom of the cutout for the window on this is on a wall and i put some masking paper and tape up there to protect the outside of the log from the bar oil that kind of has a tendency to sling off the tip of the bar when you're brushing like that because you're keeping an rpm built up in your saw and it has a, a tendency to throw more oil and so I'm, I'm trying to protect the outside huge surface of the, of the log with that paper. I can now take my slick and pair across this, just like I would be uh, cleaning up a notch on a log. Uh, just take my slick and just work that across. I've still got just a little bit of my yellow uh, marker line here on the inside and just a little bit on the outside. And I can just 
work that down and I can take a framing square or a straight edge and I can lay across there and check to make sure that I'm flat all the way across from the inside to the outside. Okay, I've got this cleaned up. I uh, used my slick and uh, went and got a hand plane and uh, went ahead and planed across here to get it nice and flat and I can lay my square on there just about anywhere and uh, it, it's nice and flat across here. So I'll be in good shape there with this part of the, of the cutout when I put the windows in.